In this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to increase the speed of your WordPress website, in particular, your WordPress website that might be running WooCommerce and WooZone, maybe it's an Amazon affiliate site or something like that. Now, I know I've done videos on this in the past, but it's a question that comes up all the time. So uh, I've got the old beer shirt site, which I've been working on recently. So I thought, hey, let's do some speed optimization on that. So let's go. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Hope you're all well, thanks for watching. So yeah, in this quick video, well, I think it's a quick video. <laughs> I haven't done the editing yet, but I'm sure it's not gonna be too long. Uh, I'm gonna be optimizing Beer Shirts, which is a website I created in a previous video tutorial. It's an Amazon affiliate site. You might be familiar with it if you watch any of my videos. I'm gonna be increasing the page speed score of my website, which is a tool that Google uh, give you for free that you can use to analyze your site and tells you how fast it is and all that kind of stuff. So we're gonna be increasing that page speed score and yeah, we're just gonna be making the site load a bit faster. I'm gonna be doing one little manual optimization on an image and then I'm gonna be installing a free plugin uh, to do the rest. So there's no money to be spent today. We can do it all for free. Let's get on the computer and get our website running faster. So I'm over at beershirts.co.uk, which is one of my Amazon affiliate websites. It's running WooZone and WooCommerce and the storefront theme. By the way, if you'd like to make a site just like this one, I've done a full length tutorial on how to do it from start to finish. I'll put a link up on the screen now and you'll also find a link in the description. So I've not done any speed optimization or anything on this site. Um, in terms of clicking around and stuff, it seems to load fairly quick. Um, nothing too much to worry about. But I think we could get it loading a bit faster. And I'd be interested to see what Google think uh, in terms of how fast my site is. So let's let's do that first. Let's get our page speed score. So I'm just gonna open a new tab. Go Google page speed into Google. That's this one here. There, it loads up this, and then we can go run in sites. It's this here. I'm gonna just copy and paste the URL because I'm very lazy. Paste it in. Let's see what score we get. Okay, we got 36 for mobile and 59 for desktop. They're both red. So ideally we, we wanna be orange, bare minimum. If we can get green, then that's a bonus too. But yeah, I wanna score of at least 70 ideally, and then I'll be happy. So it gives you some ideas what you can do, reduce uh, response time and eliminate some Java stuff and browse caching, optimize images. Let's have a look at the images. Oh, only the one, so we can probably do that right now. Um, that is the banner on the home page. Let me show you this one. So I can change that. Best thing to probably do is let's uh, edit it. Is it edit page? Oh no, it's not. It's in the uh, the parallax scroll. So this is something you can do on any images that um, Google PageSpeed shows as you know not being optimized enough is you can either use some sort of image optimization tool or just use Photoshop or Fireworks, whatever you use, I use Fireworks. So yeah, my image is 183K. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna have a look at the image. I'm just gonna copy the URL here. If you've got it on your computer, you won't need to do this, but I'm just gonna copy it into my clipboard like that. And then I'm gonna fire up my graphics package, which I said is Fireworks. And drop it into there with a paste. And then I'm just gonna save it again by doing a image preview. And I'm gonna select in the preview a smaller file. Well, it was already selected, um, but yeah, a smaller file. Uh, it's reduced the quality down to 60%, but I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. It still looks fine. Uh, and it's obviously kind of halved the size of the file, so that's excellent. So let's export that out. Let's call it top banner new. And then I'll go back into WordPress. Go back into here, and then I can untick the image that's already there. Upload my new optimized one. Uh, wherever I saved it, where did I save it? Uh, was it in here? There it is. So that's one thing fixed. That's the image. 
and let's click update. So if we run the page speed tool again, by the way, you need to leave about 30 seconds between running tests on this. We're still on 35, um, but the image issue has gone. So it wasn't enough to improve our score, funnily enough, but hey, we're gonna do some other things now. The next thing we're gonna do is install a plugin, a free plugin, that's gonna do some more speed stuff, speed performance stuff to our site. So I'll close that tab. I'm gonna go back into the site. I'm gonna to go to plugins and add new. The plugin we want is WP Fastest Cache. There we go, it's that one, oh, it's gone. <laughs> that one there with the leopard. So install that and click activate. Okay, and then that's gonna add a little thing down here. And we've got some options here we can turn on. So I'm gonna turn on the cache system. I'm gonna turn on preload. I'm gonna preload the homepage. I'm gonna do new post and clear all the cache and do update post and clear all the cache. I'm gonna minify um, HTML, gonna minify CSS, gonna combine CSS, gonna combine JS, gonna gzip, gonna browser cache. Basically, I'm gonna do all of these things. Click submit. Now you wanna be careful because sometimes these options can break your site. <laughs> so if you turn any of these on and then you go and look at your site and it looks a bit weird, then you need to come back through and just turn them off one more and see what it is. But I think we're still looking okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna load a incognito tab. We all know what those tabs are for. They're for testing websites, of course, um, because I just wanna kind of browse the site when I'm not logged in so that it generates the cache. As we can see the site, especially the homepage there, is loading quite quickly. Look at that, those two. That's noticeably faster already. So let's go back and run the page speed again and see if we can get a better score than 35. Seventy three, woohoo. So that's not too bad. You know, you can probably leave that as it is and be happy. If you like, you can go through these other bits and bobs. Um which is some more bits of CSS and this bit with the browser cache. It doesn't like my Google Analytics plugin by the look of it. So I could maybe turn that off, maybe find a different plugin. Let's see what effect that actually has. But of course I do want Google Analytics, so unless it gives me a huge benefit, I'll probably leave it. But let's just do a test and see what effect that plugin is having. It's this one here, the monster one. Submit and deactivate that. Well, the other thing you might want to check is uh, if you're using HostGator hosting, which you may be if you've followed any of my tutorials, is up here you've got this other caching, which is kind of the built-in one. Down here you've got this cache level, and we could put it up to level four. Again, if you change these settings, make sure it doesn't break anything on your site by doing some tests. So let's see what happens now. So I've turned off the analytic plugin, turned up the kind of host get a cache thing. Still on 73. Sometimes this takes a moment or two to um, to update. Yeah, you see, look, it still thinks I've got good analytics. Let me clear all the all the caches, purge all this stuff. Then go back to my incognito and just refresh the page so that it generates the cache. You see, it's gone slow again. Now it should have generated the cache and now if I reload, it should be fairly instant, which it is. I need to wait about 30 seconds before I can run the page speed test again. Has it been 30 seconds? Probably nearly. Let's give it a try. <laughs> We've lost a point. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, it's not saying that Google Analytics is a problem anymore, but it's, it's docked me a point. I wonder if it was the um, that other caching that, that did that. But hey, whatever, it could just be, you know, server response times, that kind of stuff. So turning off that analytics has not done anything, so I'm gonna turn it back on, because I want Google Analytics. So you see that even though Google said, you know, you should do something about it, it wasn't a big issue, really. So turn that back on. 
So 72, I'm happy with that, I, I'd move on. I'm not gonna spend ages you know, trying to get it up to 80 or 90. The site is loading quickly. This is a good score um, for in terms of what Google thinks. Uh, I'm not too worried. What I am gonna show you though is a bit of a bonus um, is the premium version of WP Fastest Cache. So if we go in here, you'll have noticed that there was a few other boxes that we can't actually uh, click because they're part of the premium version. Well, uh, I've actually got the premium version. I bought it just for you, <laughs> just so I can show you what it does. Let me just upload it. I've put it somewhere, did I put it in my downloads? Nope, I've probably, uh, oh, there it is, it's right there. So it's $39.99, $39.99 that is, and let's see if it makes any difference whether it's worth it or not. Um, so I've enabled that, it's basically an uh, extra plugin that runs alongside the free plugin. And then when we go in here, we've got access to these other options. So um, let's tick that, let's tick that, let's tick all these other boxes. They all sound really good. Submit. So remember the score currently is 72, 73, depending on which way the wind's blowing. Let's delete this cache and this, oh, and this one. I think I just pressed the wrong button. Yep, they're all cleared. Let's go back to the incognito, do a refresh. Just check the site is loading up and all that stuff. We haven't broken anything. All seems good. So let's go and run the page speed test for one last time. Okay, so it's 71, which is I think one or two less than it was before. So it has optimized. This has reduced the number of things that are coming up in here, but for whatever reason, maybe the desktop speed's gone up a tiny bit. In here you might get some optimized image issues, but these are related to WooZone and related to the um, kind of product images that are pulled in from Amazon. So yeah, not a lot you can do about that. So I think in conclusion, the premium version of um, WP Fastest Cash is not worth it. It doesn't seem to make any kind of improvement on the score. So just stick with a free one, install it, tick all the boxes and you should be fine and you'd be up to 70 odd and uh, that's fine. You can spend days on this trying to get it up to 100, but I don't think it's really worth it. Uh, if you get to this kind of score, you'll be fine. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you managed to improve the speed of your website and you've managed to get a good page speed score, of at least 70 or something like that. Uh, do share your score in the comments below. I'd love to hear how fast your website is running and uh, any tips you might have. And yeah, just share your experience below with other viewers too. That'd be really cool. If you like this video, please click the like button. If you didn't like it, click the dislike button and leave a comment below to let me know uh, how I can do better and what was wrong with it and all that kind of stuff. If you're not already subscribed, then you can do so by clicking on the little eagle thing there and click the bell to be notified uh, when I upload uh, videos, which tends to be once a week. Here is another video which you might enjoy. Uh, and here's another channel. It's kind of my vlog channel. Go check it out. Until next time, bye for now.